Okay, I finally figured out how to upgrade a Plex Media Server on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the old software on it, the old media software. You need to upgrade it if you're using an Apple unit as an iPad or an iPhone because the new Apple iPhone app and iPad app requires you to upgrade your Plex Media Server. Well, I haven't upgraded in a long time because everything was working. So I had to figure out how to upgrade it and there's nothing on YouTube or anywhere that shows you how to do this manual upgrade they tell you you have to do for the Raspberry Pi. So I worked it out. Well, first thing I did, I upgraded my Raspbian Stretch to Buster. That was easy. There's enough videos on YouTube for you to look at that and figure that out. Once you did that and you cleaned that all out, you're going to have to uh, do this with your Raspberry Pi. Uh, you could either SSH in, which I do. And what you need to do initially is you got to type in a pseudo service Plex Media Server stop. You have to stop the server so things don't get screwed up when you do the upgrade to the new um, server. So I did that. I don't have any fancy way of showing this stuff, so I'm showing it to you on my iPad. I just did a screenshot of that. Once you do that, then another thing I did, let me get back over here. And this kind of explains it. I finally found it. It's on the um, Plex TV website. I can't remember how I found it, but I found it. And uh, what you got to do, and this is what I did, is the first thing I did, I w did the sudo app get remove Plex media server dash installer command. Then the second command is here, the sudo rm slash etc apt sources dot list dot d p m s dot list command so that's all done that went through no problem then you go to um plex tv and download your um application now there is where the problem is because they don't tell you at least i didn't know which one i had but let me see if I can, there we go. So the one you got to download is this one. The Ubuntu 16.04 Debian 8 Plus ARM V7. Make sure you download that one. And the way you download it is, uh, again, in your console here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, in your console there, you put the command WGET, we get, and you paste in the link to uh, that file. It'll download it. Then, oh, shoot. Then, to install it, you type in sudo dpkg space dash i space and the name of that file. You click on it, it uh, installs, and it saves all of your, your uh, iTunes music in the right spot. I don't know about photos and movies. I only have on my uh, Plex server is my iTunes, which is over 30 gigabytes. It saved it all. I flipped up on my iPhone and it's working perfectly now where I couldn't work it before. So if you upgrade your Plex app on your iPhone or your iPad, you need to do this upgrade. That's it. That's all I know about it. I'm not that good at Linux, but I'm good enough. So good luck in doing it. I did it. It wasn't that hard, but it was tough trying to find all the stuff on the internet. So that's why I did this video. See ya. Bye-bye.